This video brought to you by dbrand. Juan Carlos Bagnell in New York City for Pocket Now at Samsung Unpacked 2017, checking out the new Galaxy S8. And it wouldn't be a series of Pocket Now videos if we didn't compare it against another phone at the trade show. Immediately, the first comparison we thought of for the Galaxy S8 was checking it out alongside the LG G6. These are the first two companies to really radically change up screen aspect ratio. It's being called 18 by nine. Of course, we like to reduce that fraction. This is a two by one aspect ratio display in that it's twice as tall as it is wide. We're looking at two phones that are gonna be really well matched in terms of overall feature set. You know, when we look at those specs on paper, super pixel dense displays that, you know, are really tall and skinny and they look very impressive. I mean, every time you show someone the G6, they're very impressed by what it looks like and what it feels like in the hand. And I'm sure that's also gonna go double for the Galaxy S8. This is gonna be something that people are wowed by when they first see just how sleek and how seductive the curves on this phone are. And that has actually been one of the major differences in just holding these two phones is how much more confident I am in holding the G6, because it's kind of a chunky butt in my hands, like especially from having recently done the camera review on the G6, I was a little less concerned about dropping this and just how precious and how pretty and how small and thin this really does feel. But that does mean that I'm gonna be a little bit more concerned in handling it when I'm out and about. We still get headphone jacks on both phones. We did our real audio review on the G6. Samsung did promote their Harman uh, acquisition and that we do know that the Galaxy S8 is gonna be coming with premium earbuds from AKG, which makes me squirrely excited to hear. Although, of course, we still wanna see those improvements internally on the phone. Great earbuds need to be driven by a great DAC and amp. We're also gonna be excited to put these two through a camera showdown. We know the G6 has one of the most flexible camera systems on any phone available, but we also know that Samsung's dual pixel sensor, giving it super fast autofocus and low light capabilities are going to be formidable. Again, in how most people are using their phones these days, extra features and capabilities versus improving the core photography experience, that's gonna be a really hot video to put together. And lastly, that software experience is also going to be a crucial battle for these two companies. We're dealing with taller and skinnier screens, and that's fine, but we wanna see that these companies are really maximizing that screen real estate. Samsung's custom interface solutions for shifting up video playback and changing up how split screen is implemented in Android natively is going to be a big benefit, but then we see LG coming out the gate with a lot of features baked into their apps. For example, the camera situation with those square photos really helping you line up your shots and create content. We don't see Samsung taking advantage of the screen real estate in quite the same way with some of those fun features. We get stickers and the ability to, you know, have sort of a Snapchat style doggy ears or antlers on me and that's fun, but that doesn't really mean we're taking advantage of what this screen has to offer. Now, happily, we did get to see a demo with some gaming where you can change up the aspect ratio of games. It's a little bit of a beta situation. It might not work with all software titles once this phone is launched, but that does show that Samsung is considering that people probably don't want to be looking at pillar boxing with their standard widescreen video and widescreen gaming, which has been a little bit of a criticism for the G6 on a lot of these apps which are lacking native support for this screen res. Enhanced water resistance, taller screens, killer camera features, and a focus on improving some of those lifestyle features like audio. This is going to be a fun battle back and forth between these two smartphone titans. And of course, we want to hear from you. Are you leaning a little more team LG? Are you leaning a little more team Samsung? Vote in the viewer poll that just popped up on your screen and drop us a comment down below. Now that we have the full skinny on the Galaxy S8. What's that doing for your perception of Samsung? Are you looking at some of the competitors? We know this phone's gonna be facing intense competition from a number of flagship manufacturers this year, but Samsung is delivering something really special in this phone. Did you know that every year more people are killed by falling coconuts than by sharks? We'd like to thank our sponsor dbrand for reminding us that sharks aren't the bloodthirsty human eating machines they're made out to be. Or maybe we want to thank them for reminding us that coconuts aren't harmless. Either way, this bizarre ad in our Samsung Unpacked event coverage is brought to you by dbrand. Check them out in the link below. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for our full slate of Galaxy S8 coverage from Samsung Unpacked 2017. We've got videos from Jules and Jaime doing comparisons and hands-ons and first impressions, so you definitely want to check all that content out. I'll probably be trying to harass you guys with some 360-degree video because that was a fun surprise getting a Gear 360, and you know, you gotta roll with it. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next video.
Hi, look, hi. look who decided hi. to join us. It's Josh. Hi, hey, everybody. We're doing a comparison, I, and he's uh, just standing here. I, I, and I'm like, what's up? I am not up? 18 by 9. <laughs>